What's up, everybody? This is Squiggy with the music experience at Loudwire's Gear Factor. I'm hanging out with Kent Dimmel from the band In This Moment, hanging out in Orlando, Florida, man. Thanks so much for uh, giving us some time, man. I know Absolutely, this is, man. This, this is, is awesome. So once you got behind your drum kit, you went out, you get a drum kit, you're behind it, you're getting settled in, you're, you're thinking, okay, I'm going all in. Yeah. What was the first part of a song, song, whatever, that, that once you played it, the downward spiral happens. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it was the the intro fill in Iron Man. Oh yeah. Black Sabbath. Oh, you know yes, the yes. Da -na, na -na -na, na -na 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 You know, oh, yes. that thing just right in. Uh, there was that one, and then the only other song I could find at the time that I could possibly try to play was uh, Like a Stone by Audio Slave. Gotcha, gotcha. You know, and that's just a basic... Uh, <laughs> you know, real basic beat, beginner yeah. beat, but uh, it's got groove. You get a kit, and then you hear Iron Man, and you're, mm -hmm. you're like, here we go, man, we're setting sail. Uh, fast forward a couple of years, uh, you guys are playing arenas, uh, playing in front of thousands and thousands of people. Yeah. Um, from where you came from to where you are now, what's the funnest for you? Uh, and fun is speculative, right? So, like, sure. um, what's the funnest song for you to play uh, from in this moment? Uh, I'm gonna have to say Adrenalize. Yeah. Adrenalize is super fun because it it starts out with this really cool double bass part, mm -hmm. but then it goes into kind of the pre-verse i guess and when that pre-verse hits it's just you know cryo's going off it's yeah. just a heavy groove and it's just awesome it feels just larger than life is uh is that a song that you see a lot of uh drummers out there on youtube or whatever trying to play that song as well is that that's a, one of them yeah. yeah the intro is generally the part that that they get a little shaky mm -hmm. on and it's basically uh, it's just straight double bass mm -hmm. going underneath, but the hands are doing um, a dotted eighth note pattern. Mm -hmm. Pattern, so it's a. Uh, uh, let's see how that goes. So it's. kind of into that. <laughs> the obvious next question is what's the most intricate or the or the song that when it does come up you're like all right take a deep breath and we're about to go <laughs> we're about to go into this. What, yeah. what, what's your uh, what's your deep breath song? Uh that's definitely got to be sick like me. There's the, just the intro to that song right out of the gate again is more double bass stuff but there's mm -hmm. some some tricky fills over the top of it. And then when it gets into the verse um, there's a double bass pattern that switches so instead of doing right foot lead on the double bass mm -hmm. you switch over to left foot lead so it's kind of nice a little shaky you know yeah. catches you off guard all right so everybody who tried to play sick like me that's at 80 percent 85 percent 90 percent we're going to show you how to be a hundred percent uh so yeah sick like me is just the double bass pattern is pretty easy in the beginning it's just you know regular 16ths and snare and crash it's the fills over the top that are a little bit tricky there's a lot of uh herd of fills so Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome, man. That was awesome, dude. Hell yeah.